Hi, I'm Jamie Pedroza. I am the head women's volleyball coach at Hartnell College. This is my 15th season just completed here. I love working at Hartnell College. I love the community that we have here. I love the support that we can give our student athletes. We give them support not only here on the court but in the classrooms as well. I just love it. It's a small college with a very big impact on um, the volleyball community and we love supporting our athletes and helping them go on to four-year colleges. Well, for this 23 season, we actually started training in about mid-July. The girls on the team come from a mix of local community. I have a couple girls from outside the area. We've been training hard uh, since the summer. We just ended last week, so it's a really long season compared to like if you're going to be in high school. The first game started around uh, mid-August and we had our pre-season all through August and September. Towards late September, we had our league games start. The team ended up uh, 21 and 11 overall. We ended up in second place in the Coast Conference North Division. I would say some of the high points of the season were a really cool competitive home match we had here where we beat Cabrillo in three. Overall in the season, our team ended up in the top 16 in the state. We ended up seventh overall in Northern California. We just had a really strong 2023 season. I will say that um, some of the highs were playing some really high level volleyball. Our girls had a lot of experience this year. We were able to play in some matches that were honestly some of the best high level quality volleyball that I've seen here at Hartnell um, over my 15 years. So I'm really proud of the fact that these ladies were able to maintain and play um, against some of the best teams in the state. I will say that some of the lows were really hard. We had several girls had injuries from um, rolled ankles and broken bones. And so that's always some of the hard parts. Um, all the girls were able to rally wherever we had an injured player. Um, it just showed a lot of heart, a lot of depth. Everybody supported each other. So yes, it was some of the lows, but it was also really great to see a bunch of young women come together and just work for a greater, bigger picture. This year, our team had a lot of academic success. We had five young ladies selected to the all-state academic team. They had to have had a certain um, amount of GPA and units from last season, and we just had a, an outstanding um, academic presence here on this team. I was really proud of that. The next thing is that we had four players make the all first team all-conference. They were Aaliyah Foster, Carmen Anderson, um, Jasmine Aguilera, um, and Renee Nottigal. Two of our other players also got uh, awarded the second team All-Coast Conference, and that was Yesenia Soria Kempa and Lily Ramirez. To kind of go a little bit further, we had even more success. Renee Nottigal was selected as the State Player of the Week um, during the season. She was also selected into the All-Region team. Um, that's basically the top 12 players in the Northern California region. Why her now? You are looking at a program that has been in the state playoffs um, for the last 10 years in a row. We just um, personally as a coach passed my 200 win mark with the AVCA. I was the co-coach of the year. I think that if you choose this program, you're choosing to go into an institution where the athletics is top quality. I also think that you're getting the most benefits from choosing this college because of the things that we can offer these student athletes in the classroom. You're gonna be giving yourself a good foundation and you have all kinds of different pathways to go for career. You can get live experience here in the classroom and give yourself a really good foundation for so that you can actually transfer on to a really good quality four-year program. 
so the student life as an athlete, yeah, um, a lot of my players on my team are able to balance doing the amount of time that they need to participate and train here, um, but they can have a good work-life balance. You can have girls that are able to have jobs and work and still, like I mentioned before, have a really high success in the classroom and academically. I feel like we do a really fun job of just making this environment really warm and friendly, but yet really competitive. And I think the young ladies who come through our program really enjoy the experience as a whole and it helps shape them to be working responsible, you know, for futures one day. Well, this season is over and we're gonna miss a lot of our sophomores going on and transferring. We have several um, that are in the process of transferring on to a four year and continue to play. We'll be seeing you guys back in the gym next August. But until the meantime, a lot of the people that have come out to support us, we just wanna say thank you. We're really excited for our next adventure. Um, this spring, the college is starting beach volleyball. A lot of our members from our indoor team will be playing on the uh, beach team. So we'd love to see your guys' support out here on the sand. Um, we'll be starting on um, the first week of February. I guess I just wanna give a, a special thank you to the ladies that stuck with us through all the COVID years where we had to, we weren't allowed to play any games. We couldn't even train next to each other. We had to stay spread out into different pods and we were out in the baseball field and we really weren't able to play much volleyball. Um, eventually we were able to turn a tennis court out outside on our tennis uh, facility into an outdoor volleyball court and we were able to get a little bit socially distanced closer and all those rules were starting to change. They were still going to school only online and um, last year was that group's first official season. And so I guess I'm just really grateful that those young women decided to stay here. A lot of them were finished with their AA degree, but they just wanted to stay and they really wanted to play their last year because they loved the sport. They loved this program and they wanted to see how far we could really go. And we really did have one of the most successful seasons. I would say comparatively, since I've been here for 15 years, <laughs> um, the closest we've had to this quality amount of season was back in 2018. And so I guess I just really appreciate the hard work that those girls did and just the dedication um, towards, you know, this craft of playing at this level. And so, yeah, I'm just really appreciative for those ladies to stick, through, stick out doing that really hard COVID year.